A lot of first pitch swings from Harper. Over 50% this year as he goes after the first fastball and misses at 0-1. October can anticipate starting a week from tonight in game one of the ALDS as he gets Harper for the first out. Verlander picking up a strikeout of the first bat of the game. A wild card spot with that win last night. Foul tip caught by Maldonado. JV off and running in his final start of the season. Starts the inning and ends the inning with a strikeout to start the game. Altuve coming in at 296 on the year. That's in the game. And there's a base hit down the left field line. Jose Altuve starts the game with a ball just bare inside the bag and a double to lead things off for the Astros. Altuve. Haney on a 2-0 pitch sends it deep to center field. Brandon Marsh will watch it. Let's go! Number 22 for the rookie Jeremy Pena. And the Astros jump in front two to nothing. Big swing from JP. Draw him in with the bump. And have him admire the blast. 424 foot blast. Up there by the home run pump. There's only one Astros rookie ever who has hit more home runs in a season than Jeremy Pena. That's the guy at the plate right now, Jordan Alvarez. 22 on the year for Pena. We go back to that Pena home run. That is a two-seam fastball that stays straight as a string right over the middle in, inner third of the plate that Pena pulls the hands into. And absolutely destroys. Is your non batting with 37 home runs? He sends one to left field. That's got a chance, and that one's off the top of the wall. Jordan will head into second with a double. The Astros jumping on Ranger Suarez early. Jordan doubles on the first pitch he sees. Bregman takes one off the plate. Ball four, the first four reaching base for the Astros. The only two ever in franchise history to accomplish that. There it is! Deep to right field and number 30! Kyle Tucker, a three run home run! And the Astros out in front, five to nothing. All hail! King Tuck, number 30. Ranger Suarez falling behind in counts and firing in barrel fighters. Tuck right into that one. That was a majestic blast to right field. 105, 106, and 107 RBIs on one swing. It is King Tuck in a 2-0 count. Suarez having some serious issues with command, and the Astros are taking advantage of it as Tuck puts that swing on it and lofts it into the right field seats. Dubon losing all bodily function and excitement. Straight road start before tonight. He bounces back with a couple of ground outs and a strikeout to end the inning. That has to do with not a lot of run support. As he gets a swing and a miss, getting Brandon Marsh. Similar sequence to getting Bryce Harper earlier in this game. All is on the table, a potpourri of Astro superlatives on the final show of the regular season for Twitter Tuesday. Well, Verlander comes back with another strikeout getting stopped. Scherzer. And he gets the strike, a strikeout. Baton thought he held up. JV with strikeout number five in the game. Opponents average facing lefties, but Jordan doubled and Tucker hit a home run. The home run brigade continues. A new career high. Martin Maldonado, who wears number 15, hits his 15th home run for the first time in his career. And the Astros lead six to nothing.
Boys are coming out and padding their stats. Suarez on the receiving end of it. Suarez has never allowed three home runs in his career. Or 161, rather. Well, they got a good pitch to hit. Dropped the barrel on it, launched it into that Crawford box. A little bit of a cutter at 90 miles an hour, and it left at 106.4. Bench is exhausted, TK. They've been celebrating that old first inning. I'm not sure they had much left for Martin. And there's a ball in the left field. He's going to be two for two tonight. Altuve one step closer to reaching 300 for the first time this year in game 162. Jordan drives one deep to right field, all the way back and off the wall. Pena had to hold up to make sure Guthrie didn't make a great play. Jordan with back-to-back -back doubles. A little bit of top spin. Jordan with a wry smile. And a chopper towards the middle, stop the shortstop behind the bag. Will make the play for the final out of the inning. Strikeout list. And he is now number 12 by himself. Strikeout number six. 31-94 in his career. You know, you get that seed. Are you comfortable just staying in that seed or trying to fight for a different seed? But Justin Verlander is on a K streak right now. The funneling some of these young hitters. Roll behind JT Real Muto. That is a cold third strike. Verlander has struck out eight of the first nine. That's off the plate. McCormick draws a walk. Swing and a miss. Suarez picks up a strikeout of Maldonado. Just a second strikeout for Ranger, but just saying. <laughs> Oh, give it to him. Eight in a row. Ties a franchise record. Eight consecutive strikeouts for Verlander. There's the ball on a line right to Alex Bregman, the only guy on the left side of the infield. We have Altuve down the line. Fair ball. He is three for three. He's hitting 300 for the first time this year. Jose Altuve, a leadoff double here in the fourth. Since 07 with over 105 runs batted in. 38th home run of the year. Alvarez hits it towards the middle of the diamond. The shortstop Stott is there. Altuve will cross over to third. Bregman on a 2-0 pitch, pops one high in the air. Davinsky is going to get through this inning without a run after a leadoff double by Altuve. Time JV has really worked into a bad hitter's count as he misses on the first four pitches. Swing and a miss. There's another one on the slider. Ten strikeouts for Verlander, his fourth start this year. Double figure strikeouts on the season. Things against that pitch this evening. Ground ball towards short. Pena will go to Altuve. And just ahead of the slide by Brandon Marsh to end the inning. Tucker will pop this one up. Long run for Alec Bohm, and he's going to make a sliding attempt and a nice catch to retire Tucker for the first out of the fifth inning. Bohm warming up. Uly shoots one into right field. That'll be a base hit. Willie Guriel continues his good homestand, hitting 333 on the homestand, 7 for 21. Arrow record for lowest ERA. There's a ball hit hard, past the diving Bryson Stott in the left field. Chaz McCormick on base. The young Award to go along with three no hitters. There is a base hit with the runners on the move. That'll give Christian Vasquez an RBI. 7 0 game as the throw comes home. Yuli Gurriel crosses the plate. Vasquez a pinch hit single. Ground ball towards the middle. Stott makes a diving attempt. He won't get there. Around third comes Chaz McCormick to score the eighth run of the game. 
There's a ball in the center field. That'll be a hit. Gary Pettis is going to hold Christian Vasquez. And that sets the stage for Jordan Alvarez to reach. There's a smash, but in the shift, Nick Maton in shallow right field makes the play to retire Alvarez in strand three. Dubon at shortstop. Jeremy Pena, after failing that pitch off his knee, gets the rest of the night off. Trey's going to have a long way to go here and a tough chance. Trey to makes it, the Trey. play. Him up for it. Um, so it was just a, you know, capped off a great day. Very cool. Stubbs draws a walk here against Hunter Brown. Verlander struck out Harper twice. Ground ball towards the right side. Hensley will make the play to first as Stubbs jumped over it. That runner from second to first base, but here it's like, let it happen. Hunter Brown makes the play, and we go through six innings. Hunter Brown not allowing a hit, just one walk. Little punch shot past the third baseman. Alec Bohm made a diving effort, but Jake Myers picking up a base hit in his first at bat of the game. For Valdez, final start, he'll have a chance to get to 200 innings. There's a line drive, Trey Mancini. You can't buy one right now. Success. 15 of his 29 base hits have been for extra bases, but I think tomorrow both this guy who just flied out to center field to let Ms. Diaz and Trey Mancini would like to find a hit or two. Valdez go a little shorter than normal and then go to some bullpen arms because the Astros won't play again until next Tuesday. 3-2 pitch, a swing and a miss. Marsh goes down to a knee as Hunter Brown has picked up back-to-back -back strikeouts here in the seventh. Kevin Gosman, no Alec Manoa. Yeah. And then if the game goes three games, which is what Astros fans are hoping for, then you lose another potential starter. All right, we'll watch what happens. Eight-nothing game, and David Robertson, the new pitcher, and he's been struggling with his command lately. A four-pitch walk. shot towards short. Stott will take it to the bag himself and complete the double play. Towards the middle, snagged by Robertson. He will flip to first base after a leadoff walk, a double play, and a ground down on a comebacker. Third inning of work. 3-2 pitch, gets that call. Nathan doesn't like it, thought it was off the plate. That'll be his third strikeout, one out in the eighth. Into center field, Jake Myers has a play, but now Chaz McCormick calls him off. So Dominguez, the fifth pitcher of the night for the Phillies, missing with a 100-mile-an-hour fastball off the plate. Second double going the other way. The first one was off the Crawford box manual scoreboard. He had to go down and get this one. Looked like a slider that just stayed on that outer third. A great piece of hitting. As he drove it near that 366 pillar out there in left field for another double. Jordan. Now Bregman into left center field. That'll drop. Jordan had a great read, but he's going to have to hold up. As right now, the Astros not trying to pile it on. It's 9 nothing. Bregman drives in his 93rd run of the year. Walk, double, and single. And Jake will make it four in a row. Ten to nothing. Astros hit number 17. Jake Myers a two for two night off the bench. Oh, not going to get that luck we're looking for. Ground ball. And they turn two on Mancini. First two outs of the inning. Even the fans finishing strong. Oh, Sir Anthony able to strike out a lead Miss Diaz. Into center field, and there it is. First hit of the night for the Phillies. They break up the no-hitter. And he hits the ball sharply into right field for a hit. So after no hits through eight innings, back-to-back -back hits allowed here in the ninth. Here in the ninth inning. Home grounds one for a base hit. That was hit sharply. Three consecutive hits, the last two on the first pitch from Will Smith. How about that? Smith after three straight hits, the last two on the first pitch. Only needs three pitches to strike out Derek Hall for the first out of the inning. 
Swing and a miss. Three straight singles followed by two straight strikeouts and Smith. Got him. What a way to finish. Three hits followed by three strikeouts. Astros pitching with 16 strikeouts on the night in a three hit shutout. Lumber, that was fun. <laughs> that was an exciting evening in a game that really didn't mean anything for the Astros, maybe a little bit for the Phillies, but every playoff position getting locked in. But watching Justin Verlander go out there and really slam the door on a great season was a lot of fun to watch. And then we get to see the offense explode for some big run numbers, big hit totals. These guys padding their stats. Today was a good day. Final score, 10 to nothing. A lot. And I mean a lot to talk about for Kevin Eschenfelder and Mike Stanton tonight. They're going to be your host of the Astros postgame show presented by Whataburger. Astros win at 10 0. Julia will get interviews on the field and in the clubhouse. Astros postgame show right around the corner. The Astros with their 1,000th win in the history of Minute Maid Park and Justin Verlander sol solidifying a Cy Young season. A lot coming up right around the corner.